Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I've got a nice balanced rack. It looks very close to a bingo. But do I have one? Well, I'm not seeing one. Nothing's come to mind. So what to do? Always tricky when you've got a, a rack which is very close to a bingo. So I could play Brond. I could play In Orb. Keeping DS. Yeah, although this rack was close to a bingo, I didn't have an A, an E, or a T. Well, I don't feel I'm retaining the best rack there. And I'm giving a lot of floaters, so how about playing knob, keeping rids? Okay, I finally made my mind up. I'm playing Bond. Wow, what a dreadful pick. I was hoping that I might have a decent shout of a bingo this move, but that's certainly not the case with this rack. Although S is a nice title, three of them on the same rack. Not great. So through an N, would I have an INGS bingo? And I wouldn't. 27 for opponent. Now, this is quite handy. I can actually get some value from the X and sort the rack out to some extent. So rigs for 21. An S can also go after bonds. But I'm not seeing any SSI words. So I am going with this. Much better. This looks jolly close to a bingo. I've now got ING on my rack. Not seeing a seven, but I have housings through the O. Fantastic. Will that stay available? Row L might be tried quite attractive to opponent, which could take that out. Now, ING also available in column nine because of GER. Wow, do I have snushing? I don't think I do. Or do I? I have the tiles for it, but is it good? I'm just wondering if snush is a type of tobacco product as opposed to a verb. Not sure. So what else do I have? Am I sure I don't have a seven here? Bushings may be good. Always difficult to be sure of I-N-G-S words. But fortunately, this is void challenge, so it's not going to cost me a turn if I play one and it's not good. So at the moment, I have candidate bingos through B, O, and N. ER takes a G, and XI takes an S. So an I-N-G-S word would play in column 12, but I'm not seeing one with this rack. I would have shushing through an H. Opponent taking a while with their play. So, what else do I need to consider? What about the S of rigs? No, not seeing anything there. I would have unsights through a T. Okay, so opponent has taken out the only bingo I was sure of, which is housings. The T for unsights, not available. So there was snushing, which I had very little confidence in. And it's good, amazing, wow. Obviously not a tobacco product. Snushing for 72. Wow, and a nice pick. Doesn't look far away from a bingo, and C and K do have some synergy. So not seeing a 7 here. Could there be an 8? Quite a few floaters in snushing. Not seeing anything with the S. Or the N. I have the out prefix through the U. 
Nothing there. How about the H? No, so I may not have a bingo here. But can I... 35 for opponent, fair enough. Can I get value from this rack? And what about through the F? I don't think fac or foc are good. I do have flak, which leaves quite a nice rack lee, which goes well with the floaters on the board, the U and the S, and the A and the K. And this stops opponent playing in this spot. It's 33 points, so this rack has a lot going for it. Obviously, a bingo would be massively better. Did AS provide anything? Now my K you can go after AS. So Flack is 33. This is 35. I'm not sure this is better. It's slightly consonant heavy. And I can't really extend this. So I think I will go back to Flack for 33. So I have Auto Car and Akatur, both of which will play through the S of Snushing. Do they play anywhere else? And Auto Car takes a P at the end as well as an S. And opponents played, fantastic. That means my bingos remain available. Ash doesn't take anything I've got. Now, what about the K auto rack? Not good. So that's not looking promising. And the L, also a candidate floater. No, not seeing anything. So, Akators or auto cars. I think Akators, because the C prevents plays in row D with a big, big tile on this double letter square. So, Akators for 70. Well, certainly a non bingo rack, but I have a decent lead, and it's balanced in terms of vowels and consonants, and always when you've got high-scoring tiles like Q and W, vowels help you to, to get rid of them. So where can I play the Q? I've got the I for Chi, and the A for Cat, and I've also got WAQ for WAC. Well... The F of Feist not available and the other F not played. So not seen anywhere great. There is a floating U in Akator's. Does that assist? Not really. I can play Qua, but that's a very low score. As is Cat through the T of Akator's. Should I hang on to the Q? Well, I guess... Ah, I have Cowrie in row A. Wow, C-O-W-R-I-E. Retaining Q-A, which isn't terrible. Gives me a chance of drawing a U. Or just a better Q option next turn. If I draw a U, then Q-U-A available in row N. Will Cowrie remain available? And what if it isn't? Surprise, there's no good QI spots. I guess QI and BI, 19 points, that's not bad. But nothing huge. I've just played Akator, so opponent's attention may be drawn to it, leaving the cowrie spot alone. My W can go underneath the A and the O of Akator's. But I'm not seeing anything fantastic there. I guess OW is about it. Fantastic. Just six points for opponent. No new Q spot provided. Uh, look at this. I have Cowrie for 45. Well... Not a good pickup. I don't draw a U and I draw more heavy tiles. But I do have a T for making cat. Gert is good, so that does play in column 12. 
and I can also play in column 4 to get the queue doubled, but I've got so many scoring tiles in M double P, it may be worth my while getting rid of those first. So I could play Pomp in column 6, that would get rid of all of them. They can be bingo -y tiles, but on this rack they're not. I have a 130 point lead. Now, Pomp doesn't score very much, and it retains the Q. Do I have any Q plays apart from Cat? If I had drawn an F, I would have had a whack down from the W of Cowrie. Wow, opponent bingos, 64 points, so my lead looking a little less comfortable. Does play the F, but I would need the W and the F in a different spot. So, what to do here? I need the O on the board for Pomp. I can't see anything great through the F. What about playing... Well, interesting, if I, I've got QU in row I, but the best I can do is Quep. Not bad. Sorts out the duplicate P. M and P have some synergy. 14 points isn't great. I'm obstructing opponent or preventing opponent from playing in row H. I'm not providing anything at all. I'm obstructing the T of Akators as a bingo -y floater. Still lots of E's to come. I would have Quat in the same spot, but that takes an S in front, one to come. So Quat has a lot going for it. There's nothing particularly great about hanging on to the Q. Do I have anything through the U of Akators? And I don't think I do. This rack leave overall is not bad. I am going with this. So the wretched Q is gone. What can I do with this rack? Well, both M and P may be playable next to the O of Confuted. Now, there may be a big Q play because UT is good. Still two U's to come, but that will provide access to triple word squares in column one. Feist takes an S and a Y, still two Ys to come, so plenty of scoring opportunities around the board. HM is good. Now, opponent's taken the spot I was eyeing up, but what about what about the A of Akatours? Yom is good. The trouble with playing Pam is this rack leave is not good, and the score of just 22 points is very lowly. So can I do better? Well... Yes, I can. This is better. Map for 28. Can I do even better? Always a slightly vulnerable rack when you have an equal number of vowels and consonants. If I draw three vowels, and I could, then my rack would be pretty wretched. Now, the X has been played, which is good, because I am setting up a pox spot. I think I am going to go with this. There are floating consonants around the board. Only three O's and three A's to come. Am I sure this is best? So I have tampon on my rack. Tampon aid is good through DE. That's not available. Is there anywhere for tampon? Not sure there is. No. Well, these are bingo tiles, so I am going with this. Not, not great. What can I do here? Now, I have Canat in column two. Just wondering if I had that last turn. It does retain the W, but it splits up the duplicates and it will score quite handily. I do have a lead of 80 points, but that's only one bingo. And there's still a blank to come. Canat turns over four tiles. Ah, but Canat doesn't get doubled. 
rats. I thought it did. So that's not so good. I have Wanton on my rack. Now, is Gurn good? If it is, that's a spot where Tampon could have played last turn. Not good. Okay, don't need to worry about that. Opponent, opponent's changed. Wow, fantastic. So, what am I going to do here? I don't think Kanat is good because is a good play because AD takes tiles to the left, so opponent could have a big column one play as a non-bingo. I haven't seen anywhere for Wanton to play. Apo is good and Ammer is good. Let me just put some tiles on the board. And A W A is good. And I would like to play the W. It's non bingo A. Omer is good. Gosh, so frustrating, really close, but there's just nothing there. 11 minutes on my clock. Pow is good. Nothing goes after AT, apart from T. Do I have anything beginning YO? I don't. Wow, how frustrating. Let me see what Kanat scores. Only 25, that's wretched. Although it is setting up a W spot. What could go on that spot? Bad, Gad, Mad, and Yad. Okay, so it's not terrible. Well, I wasn't expecting this move to be so so tricky, but it is. And a bit of changing means nothing new has been created. Okay, so, well, what about playing one for 23? Doesn't set up anything. Still keeps this rack. I could extend this to want or wanna. Do I want to do that? N and A are quite handy tiles. There's only two A's and one N to come, so they're, they're quite bingo-y. So I think I prefer one. Yeah, 23 points. I am going with this. Well, no duplicates, which is good. And J, now what I didn't consider was column one. There's the option for a four letter play. I don't know if I had a W play in last turn. I think I did, I had tower. Okay, that might've been an oversight, but I think I was splitting up duplicate N as well. And this turn I have Jato and Jota. So that could have been a miss last turn. Jew is good in on ISC because we're still playing with the unexpurgated, unexpurgated dictionary. So, oh wow, bing over opponent, doesn't use the blank. Am I in trouble? I trail by 40. No, well, is this a massive J spot? Yes, it is. Well, is massive the right word? It's a, well, 46 points and keeping Ren, I think it is. Yeah, and Jato in column one, only 40. Okay, so this isn't a huge advance. Should I be playing in column one instead? No, because where the J is, is a double word square. So I think this is better and the extra few points are, I think are always good. And what about Jato and Jew? 39. Okay, I am going with this. And I miss the the blank. But if opponent Bing goes in column 14, they'll be scoring opportunities in column 15. I have air in column 1, which isn't going to score massively. I have your. 
in column two. What about column five parallel to one? EWE is good. So I have I in that spot. Over 30 points, and I think that's what I need to do. I lead by 80. If I can keep scoring scoring 30, I may be able to outrun a bingo. And the remaining tiles are pretty bingo-y, and there are bingo lanes on the board. Primarily columns 14 and 15. Column 15 beginning with the E. K not massively useful as the starting tile of a bingo, or indeed a floater anywhere in a bingo. I think that's about it for bingo lanes. But I don't have an easy way of blocking columns 14 and 15. So I think the right thing for me to do is just to keep on scoring and to outrun opponents. Great. Opponents changed. He signaled he's got the S or the blank because 8 takes an S. And 8 doesn't take anything else. So, but opponent would need to have a bingo beginning with S. Well, he may have one, but I'm 65 points in the lead. There are 12 tiles in the bag. So these are my candidate plays. I have air up here. 28, keeping iron. Let me check the remaining vowels. 9 out of 19, so a balanced rack. I have I down here for 33, which is more. I could extend that to I, but then I would have a vowel heavy rack. This rack leave has some bingo potential. And even without bingo potential, it's just likely to generate more candidate plays. And that's what I'm looking for. The option to, or the ability to keep scoring. So if a pen and bingo is in column 15, I would hopefully have options in column one. Given that opponent signaled an S or a blank, I don't that's another reason for not sticking an R on the end of I. Am I sure I don't have a bingo here beginning with N or E or R? I think so. I'm going with this. Wow, not a good pick. Always uh, makes it tricky when you have duplicates. But I feel the remaining pool is looking slightly less bingo-y with UUV and no A. Only nine tiles in the bag. Can I hang on? I've got a 98 point lead. One way of disrupting column 15 would have been to play across from the end, but I wouldn't score very much, and it would be providing a floater. Now, opponent, well, he didn't have the S, but he did have the blanks, and he's got 80 points, and I lead now by only 18. And the remaining tiles are pretty bingo-y. Two tiles in the bag. Wow. What a tricky spot. I do have Kirimon in row O, but I think that takes an S. With two in the bag, I'm minded to try and play off a lot of tiles so that I have the option of going out next turn. So I have Mino up here for 25, keeping I double R. My row may be good, which is better, but could opponent bingo... In column 14, look at the remaining tiles. He could have doubles. Well, that doesn't play in column 14. The opponent probably doesn't have a bingo. Could he outrun me? I'm just considering what my options are in column 14. Well, I don't have anything which goes in front of the L. So a pennant would need to stick an E in front of the L. Five minutes on my clock. I don't think he's got anything, so I need to keep scoring. I'm not sure about my row. 25 points is quite handy and the rack leave is quite handy. But is it good? Let's find out. 
it is. And opponent's got both U's. Fantastic. Except he's got dubious. But that doesn't play in column 14. Does it play anywhere else? I don't think so. Wow. That was close. Opponent would have sub audio through an A. Wow, dubious so nearly plays in column 14. It's just UL which fails. Now, I lead by about 40 points. Can I hang on? Surely I can. And can I go out with liner? Not in column 14. Does liner have an anagram? I have Merlin in row A. So that's one out. Do I have a second? What about the K? Is Kilner good? I think you can get Kilner jars, but that might be capital K. Nothing goes after the V, so a play would have to begin with the K. I have Liner where opponents has played Buds, but that doesn't matter because I have Merlin and I lead. So opponents got IOU. Is Merlin best? It doesn't score very much. How long have I got? Four minutes. That's nine points. Can I score more than nine points with Liner? And I'm not going to look at going out in, in two, even though that might outscore opponent. I don't have the time to consider all the options. Does Liner have an anagram? Not that I can see. Ah, I have in Inlia. That's better. 416. And the final score, 410 for my opponent, 446 for me, a winning margin of 36 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. Opponent crept up on me at the death, so a bit of a nervy ending, but I held on. Now it was me to go first. No missed bingo here. I thought about Brond. And I went with Bond in the end. I have a strong preference for short plays on the opening move. So was happy to sacrifice the eight points. The R definitely helps IS as a rack leave. And four tiles rather than five is also worth about two points. Now opponent's rack plays decks. And... Wow, Ceres playable in column 11. That's nice. What do I do? I play Riggs for 21. Six fewer points. Opponent's rack, FV. That's pretty horrible. Plays Feist. And now Snushing, the only bingo. So delighted to have spotted that. And I have a 50-point lead. Opponent's rack, plays Zar. Could have played Schwitz, but by burning the blank. Now, this looked promising. I couldn't see anything, and there isn't a bingo. B10. Cart playable for 41. That would have been nice. I play flak for 33 instead, so... And interesting, folk playable in that spot, which would have definitely have been better, because the A is a better tile than the O. So, a couple of better plays there. Opponent's rack, no vowels. Plays CH. And... I have the two bingos I mentioned, but also rack a hout through the H, which would have been a fancy word to play. Great rack for a point. <gasps> wow, Tevatron, very difficult bingo to see. Plays VAT instead, so that was a let off for me. Now, Cowia and Cowry, same tiles, same place. What do I do? Yeah, I don't really see much between those plays, and I think fewer bingos begin with E than with R, so I like my play. Now, opponent does bingo with Confuted, but could have played G13, Fondest and Feists, for a lot more points. So I still lead by 70, despite that bingo. And I play Quep for 14, which is... 15 points less than, than Amp, but Amp retains the Q and a pretty clunky, clunky rack, so I like my play. Opponent plays Day. B4, Panama. Oh wow, that's nice. What do I do? I play Map for 
28, which is also fine. ANOT, I think, slightly better than OT as a rack leave. Opponent changes, so opponent changes with this rack. Interesting, could have played Ilya at A1, which I think would have been better than changing. Now, my rack, and I play 1 for 23. This is the 1A play of Tower, which I saw subsequently only 5 more points and retains a duplicate tile, with duplicate tiles generally, as a rule of thumb, being worth minus 5. So those plays are a wash. But L4, well, a now playable. Yeah, and I think probably better than my play. It is... Five more points, and ANT is a better rack lead than ANOT, and I don't think the W in fourth place is massively dangerous in row O. Now, opponents move, and great bingo of relation, which, if I'd played Cowier, would have played in column 15 for a lot more points. So, my lead shrinks to 40. I have this rack, but fortunately I have a 46-point J play. Wow, what a pick for opponent. <laughs> and he does have bingos, doesn't spot them, plays age, but had a pigeon egalite and a legiac all in column 14. So that was a let off. I lead by 65 points, which I wouldn't. If opponent had bingoed, I would have been trailing. Well, this takes into account opponent's score, so my lead would have been fairly small. I play I for 33, and I like that. Prey, I5. Well, keeps too many vowels, I think. Great rack for opponent. Plays Servile, and now my lead is just 18 points, and there are two tiles in the bag. A14, Imager. Well, that's, that's going to leave me with seven tiles on my rack, so... Myro for 25, I, I prefer, because it gives me, I think, a shot of going out in one next turn. Now, no bingo for opponents. Opponent plays Buds, and I have Inlia for 16, and Merlin was the only other out. So, what a game. Absolutely tremendous fun. I got into a good lead, but opponent came right back at me and there was just 18 points between us with just two tiles in the bag. Fortunately, opponent's final rack of final rack bingo of dubious didn't go anywhere on the board and I was able to hang on for the win. So many thanks to my opponent for a great battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game. Like and subscribe and I will see you next time.